Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a project pan update for you. And boy oh boy, do I need a better system to start recording down numbers and facts and figures. It's getting a bit confusing. I would love a spreadsheet or something. I just can't wrap my head around spreadsheets either. But now I have like reams and reams of paper of all the stats. <laughs> And it's getting a bit much, so bear with me. Um, we have exciting updates and new products to roll in. So I'm just going to start. So starting with the foundation, um, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the shade Fair. So I got to the bottom of this and then I had to get, this is gross, how do I get the lid off this now without touching this? I can't, Ugh, no. Um, I had to get the pliers to get this actual bit off to then get a brush and go around the inside of that. There's still a decent amount of product stuck to the inside of the bottle, um, but like to me, it's mostly done. So I did actually sort of call that quits and I've just kept the empty bottle to show you that that's the second foundation I've managed to finish during this project pan. So that's currently weighing in at 86.2 grams which meant I used six grams of the product to use it up and then that one's finito, thank goodness. So then to make that foundation work, I had to use my Revolution Foundation Mixer Darkening Drops. Um, I no longer have to use these with the current foundation that I have rolled in. So these will be rolling out of the project just back into my collection until a time where I further need to use them. These are weighing in at 49.3 grams, which means I used it 0.5 grams of this which is slightly less than the last month but then last month has been a bit of a blur um i've been away from youtube as you know and didn't do a lot of stuff so usage of makeup went down those are going out and back into my collection so the foundation that i rolled in is from uh, the brand George, which is Asda's own brand. So they've got like clothing and makeup and homeware and stuff like that. So this is a par it's a matte foundation and it's lightweight matte foundation. It's really liquidy. So I would say that this foundation is kind of like the ones that you get with the dropper. Um, it feels like it's oily based, but I don't think there is any oil in it because it doesn't make me go too shiny that I am aware of. But that's that. Last month being the way last month was, I completely forgot that I needed to weigh this. So it didn't get weighed when I rolled it in middle of last month. But I do have its current weight now and then we can just go off that because obviously with the packaging being not see-through, you can't see how much it's going down, but there's, I don't think, I think there's less than half of the product left in this. This is weighing in today at 37.5 grams, so we'll just see how we're getting along with that. I've had to like experiment with how much is going on my face. At the moment I'm using between five and six drops, but it really is quite, liquidy and if I was just to sort of like take the lid off and hold it upside down it would just pour out of the bottle um so it's not a case of like squeezing it it's just a case of tentatively like dropping it onto my hand so that was a learning curve in itself moving on to the Barry M eyeshadow palette this is the Meteor Storm one with duochrome and metallic eyeshadow palette um I love the packaging of this, um, but I will be rolling this out now um, because obviously we're doing a summer refresh. I've done the spring months now, and to be honest, I'm really, really happy with the progress that I've made in this eyeshadow palette. Um, I think I'd hit pan on three eyeshadows already, 
when I rolled this eyeshadow palette into the project. We now have pan on one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadows and one of the eyeshadows is completely used up. Um, last month's video I forgot to take photos so the photo that I'm showing on the screen at the moment is um, how much progress I've made in two months so apologies for that but yeah so the, the gold sort of orangey sunset colour that was in the middle is all completely used up which I'm really really happy about and I even managed to hit pan on this really super dark colour here but I really enjoyed using this palette but I am happy to just put the rest of this palette back into my collection so I can use it again next year. I'm definitely going to be doing another project pan next year but I'm thinking of doing um, a slightly different one so it like pans out a little bit different than this and it's maybe more potluck about what I draw maybe a bit of a, like a roulette pan but we'll see about that in six months time but that is that really happy with the progress on that really enjoyed using it and I've had absolutely no dramas with these uh, eyeshadows whatsoever so put that away for a little bit give it a bit of a break and in its place, I will be rolling in this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Kind of reminds me of those metal pencil cases that you used to get in primary school. Um, but my friend Vicky gave this to me, um, which was really kind of her. I think she got gifted it by one of her friends and used it a handful of times. And she was like, look, it's just sitting in my collection doing absolutely naff all. Um, why don't you take it because I know like I'm more heavy-handed on eyeshadows so I will be able to pan eyeshadows a lot quicker anyway because that's just the way I do my makeup um, and I think it, I do wear more eyeshadow than Vicky anyway I think she's more of like an eyeliner girl or a one and done type of girl these days anyway um, but this is a beautiful palette. It smells absolutely divine and I think it's one of the most expensive eyeshadow palettes that I own. Um, so I haven't hit pan on any of the shades whatsoever. Um, I haven't used this palette at all this year obviously because I've been using the other two palettes previously in the project. But um, I've had this for about a year myself now anyway. And I did take it away with me to Manchester and I accidentally dropped the palette on the floor and I got a little bit of damage to that shade there. But it, it's still perfectly fine. It works, obviously. So that's that. So there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 shades in this palette. So this is the palette with the most amount of eyeshadows yet so to see any sort of progress on this might be hard i definitely will be doing um uh eyeshadow pan roulette type of or a palette bingo type of uh video related to this because there's f lots and lots of different shades to choose from I've currently got it on my eyes at the moment. I'm trying to change the way that I do my eyeshadow because I found that I was just doing my eyeshadow in the same way every day, but just with different colors. Um, but yeah, that's that. So this is currently weighing in at 209.4 grams. So obviously a lot of that weight is within the packaging. So we'll see how far we get with this in a month. So the collection last imperfection concealer I took the stopper out the last time I showed you and I have been dipping a brush in to get the product out of the bottom there is still a little bit of product left in the bottom and I am still happy to continue to chip away at that but I do think that this should be done in the next month or so because the current mascara that I have got um, the Barry M one, which I'm not including in the project anymore, is a very wet formula and I tend to make a mess of it and I'm using the mascara to correct those mistakes. So the concealer is currently weighing in at 
6.7 grams, which is a 0.3 usage compared to the 0.2 of last month. Um, so yeah, that just goes to show I'm making more mistakes with my eyes. So that's that. Next up, we've got the brow gel, which I've really been enjoying using. It's definitely, I would say, my favourite way of applying a eye an eyebrow product, uh, this style of product. Um, so this is in the shade Blonde and it's the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade. This is currently weighing in at 44.3 grams. So I've used 0.8 grams of this since the last time. So I'll just keep chipping away at that. I think there's still like a decent amount of products left from what I can see. Um, but yeah, I'm happy just to keep going till that's all used up. The next product is my Barium Blusher palette the quad you can really really see a difference in this pan now i'm just down to the dregs around the edges i'm not sure how i feel about this particular blush once this one runs out i might have to roll in another pinkier blush to sort of mix with it um probably because of the lip products that i've chosen to for this quadrant of the project pan might not go with this, but we'll just see how we go. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But as you can see from the photos on the screen, there is a lot, a lot of progress in this particular pan, which is the only one that I have been focusing on. So this is weighing in at 61.1 grams, which is a usage of 0 0.3 for the month, which is down by 0 0.2 grams. Like I said, last month has been a bit of a blur and I definitely, I know for a fact, I definitely wore less makeup last month. So the next product is my, my highlighter from I Heart Makeup Blushing Hearts, Triple Baked Blusher. So I'm still chipping away at this. Definitely, definitely visual progress on this now. I can see it. Um, it is running really low and I can see where lots of the products is like it's definitely pulled away from the pan if it was there in the first place but there's not a lot of this left at all. I do think I will be able to finish this by the end of the year but I'm in no rush at all. I'm still really enjoying using it. So this is weighing in at 40 grams on the button, which is a usage of 0 0.2, which is half the amount of the usage that I got from it in the previous month. So that's that. That will be staying in the project pan until it's completely finished. So my four lip products, let's start with the NYX Istanbul. I've absolutely adored wearing this, but I will be rolling this one out. So this is weighing in at 12.3 grams with a usage of 0 0.3 grams, but it's time to put this one back into my collection now, give it a little bit of a break and start wearing the summery colors. Arguably, this is a summery color, but I've got more things in my collection that I wanna give a fair usage to. The Kat Von D Lovecraft. I think I said for both of my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks that I'd be taking the stoppers out of them. I never ended up doing that and you will see why in a moment. So for the Lovecraft, this is weighing in at eight grams with a 0 0.2 gram usage, which is the same as last month. And then the Kat Von D one, I can't remember the name of because the stick has fallen off, was weighing in at 8.1 grams with a 0 0.1 gram usage for this month, which is down quite a lot from the previous month. Um, so those are those. There's still loads of product left. I will be putting these away back into my collection, but I might get them back out later in the year, but we shall soon see. But I'm happy to keep these in my collection. They've been there for long enough now. If they smell bad the next time that I reach for them, then I won't. Get, I won't use them, but for now, they're just gonna go back into my collection. And then there's this Barry M lip gloss. So I remember the last time I filmed an update 
which you will have seen yesterday, hopefully, if all has gone well, um, that I said I would probably end up wearing a lot more lip gloss now that my hair was shorter because I haven't got that horrible sort of like thing where the hair gets stuck in your face and then you sort of like peel the hair out and then you've got lip gloss all smeared up your face, um, which is absolutely true. I knew it would happen and it has happened. So this is weighing in at 20.3 grams, which means I've used a whole 1.1 gram of this and you can definitely see, I'll try and get a screenshot of the previous video where this was, compared to where it is now, but I've used this a lot. There is not a lot of this lip gloss left at all, which really, really is spurring me on to use it. It's, I've not used a lip gloss in over a decade. It's easily got to be over a decade. So to use this up, I'm getting really, really excited to making sure that that happens. Um, compared to last month's usage of 0.2 grams and this month is 1.1 gram, you can definitely tell that that has been the lip product of choice. I will be keeping this in my project now because I definitely know that I can use this up within the next three months. It's a beautiful pink shade which lends itself to my summer quadrant of this part of the project pan. I'll be rolling in three new lip products, well not new, um, new to the project lip products. So I've got another NYX product here, but it's uh, a little bit different to the way that um, the other one works. So this one's obviously just like your regular applicator like that. Um, and then this one's got a sponge, which I'm not overly keen about, I'm not going to lie. Um, I can see some of the products sort of like coming out the sides of this now. I would like to get this used up. I do quite like the colour um, and it gives a sort of um, relatively same finish. It's basically, I think, this product that what's inside this bottle, but inside a squeezy tube instead. I really enjoy using it and having the colour, but I'm not so sure about the sponge and the hygiene, how hygienic that is in the long term. But regardless, that is weighing in at 17 grams. And the colour of it is not too dissimilar to what I've got on my lips at the moment. It is a little bit lighter. It's sort of that bluey toned type of pink. There's a little swatch of it there. It's a very L colour, what I would call like a traditionally L colour. I used to wear this sort of colour all the time. Um, I've strayed away from it quite a lot recently, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it will be nice to put these back on my lips. Then I've got the current lipstick that I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. This is another one that was given to me by Vicky and it's the Urban Decay Matte Menace Lipstick. So this is the only bullet style lipstick that I own. All the rest of the lipsticks that I own are liquid lipsticks. This is primarily because um, I had lots of bullet lipsticks in the past and um, I've got sort of these wrinkles or lines here in my lips. Can you see? Um, and I find a lot of bullet lipsticks tend to bleed into those cracks or have done in the past and it always looks really messy and disgusting by the end of the day and it actually makes me look a hell of a lot older than I am. Um, it's quite, I would say, I haven't seen anybody else my age with such defined wrinkles uh, in their lips. And you tend to only get them, I would say, traditionally, if you are a smoker. They called like I call them smokers lines. Although I have smoked in the past, I don't believe I smoked for long enough or I smoked enough cigarettes to make lines in my lips there f um, so defined at such a young age. So I had these lines, I would say, from my mid to late 20s 
but they haven't really progressed or gotten any worse since. However, my mother did have them really bad and she used to call them smoker's lines and she never touched a cigarette in her, in her whole entire life. So I guess it's just a, a, a hereditary thing. It could be the way that like I poise my mouth when I speak and the way that those muscles work, but whatever. That's the reason why I don't have these particular style of lipsticks because they tend to bleed a hell of a lot more. They don't dry down matte enough to stop moving around um, the lip area as much. However, I have got this and I do want to use it up. There's absolutely no use in it sitting in the drawer. I do have to apply this with a lip brush to get that sort of defined Cupid's bow part. If I just used this particular lipstick, then onto my lips, then I wouldn't be able to get such a defined shape. This is weighing in at 29.2 grams. I am going to um, fully deploy the lipstick and draw on a piece of paper the height of it also so we can see visually as well because obviously I haven't been able to do that with any of the other ones but that will be interesting to see that one go down if at all and then the fourth the, th the third product that I'll be rolling in um, but the fourth lip product that I'll have in total is a full sized Kat Von D I know they're not called Kat Von D anymore but this was from Kat Von D when it was called that. And this is in the shade A Go Go Liquid Lipstick in a bright orange colour. So liquid lipsticks in orange colours, no matter what brand I have found, have been a particularly weird formula. It's really hard to formulate. There's only ever been one sort of orangey type of colour and it hasn't been this vibrant and it was Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but this is really bright. It's not a kind of colour that I really go for anymore. It's strange. I used to be all about the bright colours. I kind of still am in a way, but like I just definitely haven't worn this for a, a, over about a year I would say. So I'll be looking forward to using that. That's weighing in at 15.2 grams. There's a lot of product in this, let me tell you. My two nail varnishes. Let's be honest about what happened last month. I said that I was going to go away and paint my nails to spur me on. I said that I was going to buy a nail varnish thinner to enable me to use this one in particular a lot more. Neither of those things happened. I didn't paint my nails for the whole of last month, not even my toenails, and I did not purchase a nail varnish thinner. So there is zero progress on these nail varnishes for last month, which is really disappointing. However, I will be putting these back into my collection. I'm not going to declutter them. Um, and I will, the next time I get round to using these, I will be purchasing a nail varnish thinner to enable me to use these. I think last month is just a blip on the radar with regards to my personal life, which then affects the way that I obviously use products, um, which is something that we are learning here. Um, so I'll be rolling those out of the project and I will be rolling just one nail varnish in, which is the nail varnish that I have on my nails at the moment. What I have to say about this so far is that I painted my nails and within one hour I had chipped them, but then that was only one layer of paint. So, but that's the colour that we're going to be rolling with, with for the next three months, which lends itself to summer quite a lot. There's a decent amount, there's over half in this uh, pot here. Um, I really look forward to using this. The f uh, it's still quite um, a good consistency at the moment. It hasn't got too thick or anything like that. So that's that. And one thing that I definitely have made progress on is this perfume. So the bottom line is where we are now. A decent amount of progress from the previous month I have been using this and there's not a lot of this left now 
Um, I'm really excited to get this used up because I've been enjoying using it. And um, if you haven't seen, um, if, you ha if you don't know the backstory about this perfume, this perfume I bought from my mother and then I kept it obviously once she's passed away and it was just sitting in a drawer and I just thought, well, that's not a good testament to her memory and what use realistically is a perfume just sitting in a drawer. So like in 10 years time, it would be completely bad and then you'd have to chuck it in the bin anyway. So you may as well have it now, use it and enjoy it now rather than it just sit in a drawer for the next 10 years and then throw it in the bin. So that's that, nearly gone. And I look forward to rolling in a new perfume in its place once it is gone, so there. So that's my update for this month and my roll in of new products. Um, I am really looking forward to playing around with this and I'd like to learn new methods of wearing eyeshadow on my particular eye shape. So yes, I'll be doing a few things with that as well. I am slowly whittling down my foundations now as well. I think I've only got five or something left in my drawer to use up and this is half full anyway so it shouldn't take me too long because the consistency of this lends itself to use up a little bit quicker so that's that um and yeah it'll be nice it's nice to enter the second half of this year being a few products lighter and having the products that i do have with the knowledge that they've been used a lot rather than just sort of like sitting there not really doing a lot so the actual so for things like this yes it's going back into my collection but it's going back into my collection having been used a lot that you know there's a lot of progress in that and it's served its purpose for what I bought it for in the first place. I bought it to be used. I didn't buy it just to sit in a drawer and be used every now and then. So yeah, that's it's good to get use out of stuff and and really enjoy the process in, in the meantime. I mean, if this wasn't a fun thing to do, then it would be a lot harder and it would be very boring and like, just like, uh, but like I get a kick out of seeing things being used up. So no, I'm not using loads of stuff up completely, but I've, I've definitely made a hell of a lot more progress. So that's really good in itself. And I feel like it lends itself to sort of pass that idea on to like the rest of your life. So like I've changed the way that I use clothes and everything. I've changed the way that I use a lot of products in my life and not just makeup. Um, I wouldn't say I had like a makeup or product um, problem, but I definitely do have more products than I need. So it really does make me think about what I am purchasing. Do I need it? Have I already got something that does something similar that I can use first? um etc etc and then when i am repurchasing a product um whether it be i don't know a clothing item skincare or makeup or something like that can i make a better eco choice can i buy something that's in more sustainable packaging can i buy something um where it's supporting a local business. It just really changes the way that you look at consumerism. And I think that if that's one of the things that I get out of this, then great, really, really good. So yeah, thank you for watching um, this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, there will be updates every month. I'll try and not to disappear on you for another month. Um, thank you for bearing with me. And I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Bye.